I'm in the mood for some therapeutic electronic assembly tonight, complete with the addition of Savannah Dry Cider, because um, it's the weekend and it's time to relax. So these are uh, some circuit boards. I actually designed, originally, uh, I, ages ago I designed a circuit board for what I called the Techno Bonsai, and it was an LED plant, which was just a mass of LED flowers. And this is a updated version that I actually had some manufactured, so I'm just gonna make one of them up right now. So these uh, snap off um, the main board. And um, I'm going to put the resistors in first. So I'll just crop these and bend them. So I'll use my cropping and bending tool. You can just bend them by hand if you wish. But this crops and bends uh, in one go with one trigger squeeze. Quite an expensive tool, I have to say. But um, at the time I bought it, I was um, manufacturing a lot of circuit boards. And it just uh, seemed like a professional thing to do. So uh, I'm going to put uh, these resistors in the back of the board. You don't have to put them in the back of the board, you can put them in the front of the board, but I choose to put them in the back. And then I'm going to use the um, Chinese Yehua solder iron to solder these. So I'll just give that a wipe, get some fresh solder on it. This is also a chance to really put this little solder iron unit to the test and see if I like it or not. So far it's, uh, it's doing okay actually. It's quite advantageous that you can set the temperature but also it's uh, advantageous um, that the solder iron bits for this iron are just dirt cheap and readily available. In fact you can get packs of them on eBay for buttons although they will insist on in sending all the same tip out. Um, I prefer it's not all the same, they lots of different tips. I kind of prefer uh, just one tip for most things, a, a 3.2 millimeter chisel tip. So I'm going to crop the leads on the other side now that I've soldered those um, resistors in place. There are 330 ohm resistors. This uh, circuit board accommodates um, five LEDs, uh, six LEDs should I say, one large one in the middle and then um, five petals around the side. And uh, they're divided into two circuits of three. So the 330 ohm resistors are quite useful for both the gallium nitride LEDs, the blues, greens and whites, and the gallium arsenides, the reds, oranges and yellows, because um, with the they'll tend to pass around about closer to 20 milliamp for the reds, oranges and yellows, which are a dimmer colour anyway, but for the bright colours like the blues and greens and whites, um, they'll pass less. It'll be more like uh, 10 milliamps, which kind of balances the intensity um, quite well. So I'm going to fold these. I'm just looking for something to bend these over, because um, all these have to be bent before use. Oh, there's a mat. I'll just use a, I'll use a slightly grubby drinks coaster. Now, all the positives go in the same direction around the circuit board. I specifically designed it that way. So I'm going to press the LED up with a positive at the end, and I'm going to fold the leads down. I'm going to do that to all the 5mm LEDs that go around the edge. You don't have to do it to the central LED, the 10mm one, because um, it uh, just has straight pins that go straight through the circuit board. Okay, that's them folded. And now I shall put them into the circuit board. Now, do I put them all in and then solder them, or do I solder them one at a time? I think um, I'll just uh, get them all in first. Where I've folded them has come right in the little spacer, which isn't that great. That's okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be too super accurate. So that's the five petals uh, mounted. And I shall solder them now by just banging it face down and uh, going around soldering those. Usually uh, when I do this, um, when I'm putting LEDs in, I'll solder just one pin first, usually the positive. And then I'll uh, line them up. And the reason I sold the positive first is because I'm making multiple adjustments to the height of it. Um, the positive is not connected directly to the little reflector. The reflector in the LED tends to be in the negative, so you're not exposing the LED to too much uh, temperature if you're repositioning and adjusting things. I shall move this a wee bit. More central. 
little circuits like this are just very therapeutic. They're quite enjoyable to make up. It's quite nice to just sit down and make a load in an evening. So that's uh, all the positives soldered, and the LEDs are in good position. This one could perhaps jiggle a little bit, so I'll just uh, heat that up and set it back down. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Ideal. Yep, and now I'll solder the negatives. Oops. Fruity little circuit board. This piece of soldering is not too bad, actually. I don't know how long the tips will last. I'm using it with lead-based solder, which is probably going to help, because it seems to be... The lead-free solder seems to be a wee bit harsher on soldering iron tips, possibly because of the higher temperature they run at. So I'll crop those down now. And I'll solder the central LED in. So this one is marked positive, so I'll put it there. This is where if you'd soldered the, the resistors on this side, all you'd have to do is just set the LED on top of them. It doesn't really matter which side you solder them on, but I kind of designed it to have them sitting in the back. But it's entirely up to you which uh, way you want to assemble a circuit. And I'll start by soldering the positive here. I'm just trying to grip this and hold the LED against the circuit board. How's that looking? That's looking absolutely tickety-boo. And solder that. Soldering the resistors on the other side does leave a little bit more room for play on this side, but um, for actually soldering, but uh, having said that, it's not that critical. And I'm going to flood some solder onto these pads, the positive pad and the negative pad. to get the power supply in readiness. Now these are the wires I'm going to use as the leads. I'll crop those off in fact. I sell these circuit boards just in their own but to be honest I'm thinking I might actually uh, sell them as little kits of LEDs. I think it'd be more popular that way. That way people don't have to source the resistors and LEDs from a different place, or the bits of wire. So I'll put the supply up to 12 volts, which is what these are designed to operate at. In a readiness. And I shall tin this wire. The negative. and put it onto the negative pad, which is a good big generous pad. I'll put it on at a slight angle because I'm going to be twisting these wires together to make the stem. Looks pretty good. And the positive. The original tree I did, the Techno Bonsai, I just went over the top. I, I made it far too big. I can't remember how many flowers were on it, but it was huge. And I had to stop and restart the project several times just because it was a bit demoralising making so many. This is a better design of flower. It's got less LEDs in it. And it's just nicer to build. So I'm going to uh, twist these wires together now. This is the stem. So I'm going to grip the circuit board and then just twist them to create a fairly rigid stem to support the the LED flower at the end. And I'm going to shape the petals up just a little bit just to give us a light LED cup. And then we'll get the power supply and stick it on. Et voila, an LED flare. I'll just turn the uh, lights off so you can actually see it brighter. 
it's oh blimey that's swamping it out now it's actually a that is totally swamping out the camera it's um i'll put one of these lights back on and see if that helps it's a warm white led in the middle and it's got blue petals round the outside and it's actually that looks really nice a good color combination i've not tried that one before that's quite attractive and these if you use them in a if you actually twist them in sort of little clusters and clumps, they look really nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. I like that colour combination, the warm white and blue. That's nice. Yeah.